let's get it on. Week 16, yeah, baby. Week 16, we going up to New York to face them Jets. Seven and seven. Fourth in the AFC East. Continue to fight for their playoff lives as they host our Jaguars on Thursday night football at MetLife Stadium. As of right now, the Jets are our own shot to make the playoffs, as are we. They're one game behind the current 7th seed Miami Dolphins with only three games left. Too bad they must face us first. Let's knock them off. Because as you are fully aware, if you've been paying attention, if we win, we're in. Up 17 to 13 against the Detroit Lions with less than two minutes remaining. New York surrendered a 51 yard touchdown on fourth and one to give the Lions the lead. With some poor clock management skills and a uh, usage of timeouts from head coach Robert Shayla, the Jets were forced with a game time 58 yard field goal attempt from Cricker. Greg Zerlin, that was ultimately no good. It's the team's third straight loss in their fifth and seven games. For us, it was the complete opposite scenario. Trailing 27 to 10 early in the third quarter against the Dallas Cowboys. We rallied to score 21 unanswered and won 40 to 34 in overtime on a pick six from Dak Prescott by Rayshon Jenkins. After giving up 20 straight games to NFC opponents, Super Saiyan Trevor passed for 318 yards and four touchdowns in his second form finding Zay Jones for three of those scores off six catches for 109 yards. Christian Kirk also reeled in six for 92 yards. The top defensive players were Arden Key with two huge sacks and of course Mr. Jenkins barbecued himself with a career high 18 tackles with two picks. We moved to six and eight, heading into week 16. Can New York save his season with a victory on Thursday night? Or will we continue our winning streak? Is the headlines. Look. Even though they probably played Detroit better than us, I don't understand the Jets being a, a one point favorite here. We are four, one and one against the spread in our last six games and have covered in three of our last four against AFC opponents. Both dominant against the Tennessee Titans and resilient against the Cowboys. The Jets were held to scoreless quarters, which ultimately sealed their fate. Zach Wilson, who did pass for 317 yards, two touchdowns and one pick in his first game back after Mike White suffered a rib injury. But we've been on a hot streak lately as the offense finds its groove. I can taste that postseason brewing. We should be able to take this one. 
though the Jets defense will pose a challenge, Trevor airs them out with the receiving core for a 28-14 Jaguar win. Go Jags. Tag, do the tag.